page 15, Ode to Joy. That's a very famous melody. Not a lot going on here, except now we get to use both hands again. The first line of this, all the notes are in the upper staff, so we're going to use the right hand for that, which is convenient to do so. In the second line, all the notes are in the lower staff, so we're going to use the left hand for that. It's just convenient to do so. And for now, I recommend when you put your hands on the keyboard, you put both hands up when it starts. Leave both hands up until it's finished. The idea is you got enough to think about without moving hands around, all right? So just get them where they go and you don't have to worry about it. So, the right hand, you're going to put your third finger, see, at the very first note, there's a three above it. And that note, you know, is an E, right? Yes, yes, it's an E. It's this E on the keyboard. So that's where that finger goes. And if that finger goes there, the other fingers go there. Because they go along for the ride. Okay. The second line, if you look at that, it's got a third finger. It's got a three. Okay? And that is an E down below, this E. And if that goes there, these fingers go here. A big surprise, we're still in C five finger position. Imagine that. Because the bottom note is a C in each hand, and we're using all five fingers. All five fingers have a designated key to play. Yay, everybody's happy. So let's try this. You got your hands where they go. I'll give us four counts and we'll play it together slowly. I have the metronome at 60. It's beating quarter notes. One, two, ready, go.